Hey, what's going on guys? So, you know, I've been getting a lot of stuff in from Limited Run Games. I don't know if it's like they're finally shipping stuff or maybe, uh, I don't know, like I, I ordered stuff together, but I, I don't remember ever doing that. Regardless, uh, I got something in the mail uh, the other day and it's something I've really been looking forward to. I personally love Inti Creates. I think I've said that several times. Um, you know, to me, they've they've really done an outstanding job with the Gunvolt uh, series, um, 1, 2, and 3. I'm still waiting on number 3 from Limited Run Games, actually. Uh, but they have a spin-off series um, for the Luminous Avenger, which is like that game's version of uh, Proto Man, essentially, your rival character. Uh, a long time ago on the channel, I did an unboxing for the first uh, Luminous Avenger game, uh, Luminous Avenger, uh, I guess it's 9. Um, anyway, uh, now they have Luminous Avenger 9-2, <laughs> which is the follow-up sequel. So I wanted to open it up for you guys today, show you everything that comes in it. Because um, this is something you can't buy like at a Best Buy or anything. I think they might have the standard version, but they definitely don't have this version. So without further ado, let's check out everything you get in the Collector's Edition of Luminous Avenger 9-2. So this is what you get. Uh, I've already started the plastic. I'll go ahead and take the plastic off so you know that we're all opening this together. Um, if you haven't played any NT Create games, uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Um, two off the top of my head, I know they did the um, the, the Blaster Master games uh, that I've already unboxed on the channel. They've obviously done the Gunvolt games one, two, and three. This is Luminous Avenger nine. This is the second one. So they've done one and two of that. Uh, Dragon Marked for Death is one of my favorite Switch games. Um, they're just really good. You know, they they kind of obviously like art wise has a very anime aesthetic, but uh, you know the 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 gameplay has some like really cool kind of sprite work. In fact, um, you know, it's just one of those things where like it just feels like a really high quality like Mega Man X or maybe even like the Mega Man Zero uh, games. How you know they just felt like a really high level of quality. Um, but here's anyway, <laughs> here's what you get with the box. Um, you have all the characters on the front. Uh, you know, the sides just have the logos, the bottom NT creates, the top NT creates. Um, and then, you know, just talks about the game on the back. Um, it looks like this has boss battle DLC included. So, you know, I, uh, that's neat. Um, let's go ahead and open it up though. It's not a hard chipboard box. It's, it's one of those kind of paper-ish boxes, but let's see what all we get. Cause it feels pretty stuffed. First off, you do have a, um, Looks like a keychain. It's a rubbery keychain of the little the little thing that follows you around in the game and the logo for the main character. Um, gosh, the rest of this feels like it's packed weird. <laughs> Let's try to get stuff out of here. Got the game. There we go. Okay, so you get this weird envelope and then a spacer for the game. I can put the spacer back in. And the envelope here, let's see what this is. Oh, it's like uh, postcards and a soundtrack. So, original vocal tracks featuring Lola the Muse. Um, looks like it is seven track, eight tracks, sorry. Well, seven tracks in idle mode and then one track in awaken mode. Um, so pretty neat, you know, a little eight, eight song, uh, little soundtrack. Put that back over here. And some postcards, quite a bit of postcards actually. So this one looks like it's the main cover. Uh, there's nothing on the back, so I won't really flip them, uh, I guess, just to look anymore. But it looks like these are probably characters, maybe bosses. This person <laughs> looks kind of like a B-52 bomber-inspired person. This one has like a cool uh, explosion slash combat knife. I really love how the characters look in these games, by the way. Like I said, it's, it's really impressive. And the sprite work, you know, really makes them look as cool as these pictures uh because very very high detailed i mean look at this like this is freaking cool looking like this this to me is like what like Mega Man x felt like when i was playing it as a kid now there's the main character here looks to be the main character wearing some kind of cool armor but i may be wrong about that the muse another really beast looking <laughs> really cool guy Another cool looking character. I mean, like I said, these games are, are awesome. If you've never played them, they're like really, really, really cool. Um, and this one plays a little different. Like, you know, Gunvolt, Gunvolt was kind of like a, to me, like a, kind of like a Mega Man X successor. And Gunvolt played weird because like you hit enemies with like these pins. Like, you know, you're shooting them like you would like your buster or whatever. But it basically like, 
it's like a pin that hits them and then you discharge electricity and the more pins they have in them the more lightning hits them it is a really cool concept so this character is kind of like the anti version of that um, where he has like a big shield and like if you play like shooter games like shmups like you know you have like an option like here's your ship and you have like options all around it it kind of has that floating around you um, and like those have kind of different configurations that do different things it's really neat uh, but anyway, here is the game itself. This is what you'd be able to buy, like, if they had it, like, at, like, a Best Buy or Amazon, since they do some retail now. Um, but this is disappointing. This is the first time uh, I have not had a book, I think, in a limited-run game game. And plus, the inside is, you know, no red spine, so not reversible. So that's kind of a bummer. But um, regardless, I mean, I know limited-run, I think they just, like publishing the game like I don't think it's you know like obviously they didn't have a hand in like making it so maybe benefit of the doubt but still to me this, this is actually a pretty big bummer um I had they have another game that I might be unboxing next week I'm not quite sure it's the Kojin game I know it's in the same position I think NT Creates made it um I have to double check that I may be wrong about that but I think NT Creates made it and I know it was just kind of published by Limited Run, so I'd be interested to see if that has a book. But uh, yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. Um, if you've ever played this series, it's really neat. Like I said, it's really, really cool. But uh, yeah, this is, I mean, I do like the postcards. I like the soundtrack, and that's really what's important to me is always a soundtrack. But this is a, this is a little bit of a bummer, especially because like this came out so long ago, you'd think it'd have something like that with it. But hey, you know, whatever. Let me know what you guys think. And there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, you know, this game itself is, you know, it's, I love the sprite work. Like I said, Empty Creates to me is like, you know, what, what, where, like the Mega Man franchise, like, needs to go if you're in the, to the sprite based thing. I'm not saying I didn't like Mega Man 11. In fact, I loved it. Uh, but, you know, if you're more into the sprite style, these are the guys that you need to look out for. Any of their games are great. Uh, Dragon Marked for Death being another really good one. Uh, but I digress. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And uh, yeah, because um, this is a this is a company that I always try to keep my eye on. Hey, that's gonna do it for us today, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. It would be super cool. But as always, my friends, take it easy.